Yok. Güzel. I can't. I didn't see the fight. I heard uh I heard uh Martin got stopped in the eighth round. Well I tell you after you know, I'm like Don. I'm when I when I was like uh I was 30, 40, 50, 30. Yeah. When I was 30, and Don was about 60. And I used to ask him about fights. He's like, man, I don't care about that shit no more. <laughs> you know, he's like, man, he's like, they can't fight. He say, they can't fight. Anybody I talk about, they can't fight. They can't fight. And I see you start going off about guys. And I feel how you feel now. I'm 57. And it ain't too much that excites me anymore about these guys. Because you, it's, it's not, it's not predictable. I don't want to say it's predictable, but you pretty much know the fighter's mentality. And you get to see their characteristics and their personality and how they react to uh, how they react to pressure. And I told you, I said, that, I said Frank Martin, he looks like a good fighter, but I said I think uh, Javante Davis got his heart, and he did, man. I, from what I seen, I'm gonna go home and watch it. I didn't watch it yet, but from what I seen and what I heard, they said uh, Martin was doing pretty good. Fear paralyzes you, man. Fear you. You could be the guy, baddest guy in the world, but if you got fear, you ain't gonna do nothing. Fear paralyzes you, and I think uh, Javante Davis had gotten to his head. And like I tell you, after the fourth round, you could tell. After the fourth round, you can see what the guy's made of. And I was wrong about Javante Davis. I watched him. He do he do throw combinations, but he tries to hit home. He tries to hit home runs all the time too. But he throws combinations. I was wrong about. I'm gonna go home and watch. I told you, man. That guy, uh, Frank Martin, he too laid back, man. He was too laid back, and he was letting Javante Davis talk shit to him. Indianapolis is not like Baltimore. They got rough parts of it, but all of Baltimore is rough. Oh, <laughs> I've been seeing white people say they're from Baltimore. I'll be like, where? <laughs> Like I was saying, it makes no sense to try to bang it out with a guy that punches hard as you do. He's gonna win every time. But that's not the being that you should be scared of him. You gotta use your jab. You got to use a jab. You got to use the jab to keep the guy off of you. And that's how you break his rhythm. Um like when you see a guy in a fight and he's not throwing no punches, that's because his opponent has messed up his rhythm. This the guy that he's fighting has messed up his rhythm. And he's not throwing any punches. And when he throw punches, the guy's already gone. It's too late. That's because the guy 
has got his rhythm set. And the best way to set your rhythm is to jab. You gotta jab. You got to. I don't care how fast you are. You gotta jab. That's what that was Roy Jones' problem. Roy Jones never used to jab because he was lightning fast. Then, but then when he got older, what happened? Roy Jones used to do anything he wanted to in that ring. He used to throw leaping left hooks, leaping jabs, lead right hands. He did whatever he wanted to do because he was fast. But then when he slowed down, it started to catch up to him. That's why uh, James Honey lasted so long. Even though he was fat and out of shape, he had a good jab. He always, James Tony's like, Jazz, all right? We got him beat. Talk to y'all later, all right?